What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are finally, after teasing it for, I think, almost every video, we're making the aviation. As you can see, I have an awesome new prop here, thanks to my wife. She went to Hobby Lobby and got this for me, and it's super fun. So now I'll have the recipe on screen the whole time. It'll also be down in the description like always, but hey, it's fun. Anyway, so we have two cocktails. One is a traditional aviation, all right? Quote unquote traditional. Um, this is kind of a modern classic. Um, it is a classic cocktail, but it has been reinvented many times. I'm not gonna go into all that history. There's a ton of it there. You can look it up for yourself. It's super, super, super interesting. Um, but this is kind of a divisive cocktail because it has one key ingredient in it that is not everybody's favorite and a little bit goes a really, really long way. So use at your own risk. And that ingredient is this. Creme de violet or creme de violet if you're American. It's one of my favorites. I love it. Um, but it's challenging to a lot of people. It's a violet liqueur um, and it's dark purple. So that's why we have the purple lights on in the background. Anyway, let's jump right into it. So we're making two. We're making the aviation, but we're also gonna make my take on the aviation, which is a little bit different. And the only kind of unusual thing that it uses is this little guy right here, which is absinthe, all right? This is just a regular green absinthe it's not nothing special okay get it get them little bottles because nobody in the world actually just drinks absinthe and if you do you're weird it that's weird but anyway that's just for a rinse and i'll show you guys that in a minute but one is going to be shaken the aviation is shaken don't ask me why i think it's better stirred but i'm going to show you the shaken version otherwise just put it in the glass and stir it okay the other one my necromancer is going to be stirred so that's why we have multiple things going on here. So let's jump right into this. Normally, you would do this, you would add your cheapest ingredient first, and then you go to your most expensive. Because if you mess up, you you know, if you get to like the end and you haven't put all your gin in yet, guess what, you haven't lost a whole ton of money. But we're gonna just go ahead. So what you'll need for this one, shake tin and a way to measure. So. I'm just gonna kind of work from my gin out simply because that's how I have my little setup here so you can see everything. For this one, we're gonna use this aviation gin. This is not what this is for. This is just because I really like aviation gin and it's called aviation. But use, I would recommend Beef Eater. That's, it's cheap, it's readily available, and it's delicious in the aviation. It's also supposed to be made with a London Dry. This is an American gin. It's delicious and I love it. Two ounces of your gin of choice, okay? Gin of choice, use whatever the hell you want. If you wanna use aviation, if you wanna use beef eater, if you wanna use Tanqueray or Collective Arts Distillery, what is that? Uh, plum and Blackthorn. Not just, actually, I think that would be really good. We'll try that later on, okay? Maybe we'll do that, maybe we'll do a live stream and do that. Anyway, all right. Two ounces of gin. Half of an ounce of our lemon juice. Half an ounce into our short tin. I'm just gonna set all these things over here and you'll see why in a minute. All right, this bad boy. My recommendation. Start with a quarter of an ounce, okay? Start with a quarter of an ounce, maybe a, a, a fat quarter, okay? This calls for half an ounce. I'm gonna make it with half an ounce because I like it. Start at a quarter, work your way up. You can always add just little drips more at a time if you like, okay? But I'm going a full fat half ounce. Oh, no, I need this one back over here. You'll see why in a minute. And then this oddball, this is a little bit expensive. So if you're going out to buy liqueurs, this will probably be a trip on its own. Locally here, it's about $65 for this bottle, and, but it will last you forever. I mean, 
you'll see, we're only gonna use a quarter of an ounce of this, maybe a little bit extra. This is a maraschino liqueur. It's a uh, basically like a uh, cherry li liqueur. It's really, really good and it's super fun and it brings something totally different to a cocktail when you add this in there, especially one like this that has no extra sweetness in it because your creme de violet doesn't have any sweetness in it, all right? But there, that's everything. Two ounces of gin, half an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce, half an ounce of your creme de violet, and a quarter of an ounce of your maraschino liqueur. You can go a little heavier on that if you want. It brings a fun new flavor. Put those together, give it a good shake. 10, 15 -ish seconds, you kind of want to just chill and dilute, aerate everything a little bit. I like to pour out of my short one normally because I usually have my little strainer, but it's in the dishwasher and I forgot to wash it. So it's not coming out today. It's not going to make its appearance, but we don't need it. A chilled glass. Okay. These are both of these are served up. So I recommend a chilled glass. I have these super cool, like monster coupes or coupe, however the hell you say it. I'm going to call it a coupe because that's what it's called. Pour that right into there, and it's a beautiful purple color. I know you probably won't be able to, it probably won't come through very well on camera. Let me see if I can get, stand up. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Oh yeah, it's coming through. It's a dark purple because it's fairly heavy on the creme de violet. If you use a little less, it won't be quite as purple. Now, if you don't have these, that's okay, but I do recommend them. Because one, they're super fun. Two, the juice that comes with it is super tasty, all right? These are Luxardo cherries. They're delicious. Just drop that bad boy in there. That's its garnish. It kind of adds a cool little red hue in there, purplish red hue down at the very bottom. And when you're done with your cocktail, you get a cherry. So anyway, that is the aviation. It's delicious. It's one of my favorite. It's a divisive cocktail that not everybody will love. All right, you may not super enjoy this, but it's fun anyway. Now, let me switch my little board around here and let's make the Necromancer, all right? Yeah, it's a dumb name, but you know what? I'm, I like dumb things like that. So we're calling it the Necromancer, all right? Stirred. So I've got my Noble Oak bottle that I cut off carefully. And we're gonna do the same thing, two ounces. London Dry Gin, all right? Use a London Dry, please. For this, use a London Dry. Anything else will kind of weird out the flavor a little bit. Triple Sec. This is the Bouchet Triple Sec liqueur. It's super dirt cheap here. I think this bottle is like four bucks. So I get it because it's got plenty of flavor, all right? About... I go a little lighter on this than a full ounce, just because this is really, really full bodied. Okay, it's really strong. Right in there, I do about, if I'm honest, about like a little over three quarters, a fat three quarters of an ounce. One full ounce of your creme de violet. Woo, that's a lot, that's a lot. And you'll see the difference in color too when we, when we pour them out, you'll see it. Hands are all sticky. All right, stir that bad boy up. Get it? This one you want to really chill, dilute all of it right now because it's not going to get shaken. There's no air going to get added. This is a lot heavier of a cocktail. So give this a good 10, 15, 20 -ish seconds of stirring, okay? Done. Again, serve up. So we've chilled our glass. Now for this. Here's where things get weird. Absent. Don't buy an atomizer, but unlike I've done, I kept forgetting to buy one. Every time I buy stuff on Amazon, I forget. Give that a little swirl around in there. Kind of just coat the inside of the glass. Got my little dump glass. And then one more time. 
Oh yeah. Considerably darker. Considerably more clear too because when you stir things it doesn't aerate so you don't get those little bubbles in it. For this one, lemon peel, just express right over the top, give it a nice twist. And I'm just gonna pop it right in there. If I were to serve this, I'd probably garnish it right on the side. It's really nice, but I love the way it looks. The Necromancer, dark purple, nice and clear. A little bit of lemon right on top. The Aviation, not quite as dark, not quite as clear, but also delicious. These are two awesome gin cocktails. If you wanna go ahead and give something a little different a try, try one of these out. I think they're super fun. You might enjoy them too. Anyway, do all the YouTuber things right, like, share, subscribe, uh, co leave comments, all those things. It does actually help us out. Also, I have a Patreon that I've put together. I'll try and remember to add the link to the description. The ingredients list will be, and recipes for both of these will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for hanging out on a slightly longer video than normal. I had a lot of fun making these two, and now I'm going to drink both of these, and probably continue to drink because guess what it's Saturday anyway remember to tip your bartenders uh, don't drink and drive drink responsibly all the good things that come with alcohol it doesn't make you prettier okay it just makes you stupider sometimes so bear that all in mind thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I hope to see you back on the next one